Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will be ranking the X-Men film series. Uh, if you saw a few days ago, I did a ranking for the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Now, I think it's only fitting that I do a ranking for uh, the X-Men films. I, I actually prefer this series. Uh, I know that's kind of crazy to say. Um, I don't know anybody else that says that. But uh, yeah, I actually do enjoy this series slightly more. And I, I don't know, I'm just a huge X-Men fan, I guess. So, um, before I get to the actual video here, I want to show you something real quick today. Um, this is my YouTube channel, of course, which is what you're looking at. Oh, it's got another subscriber. Awesome. Um, speaking of subscribers, what I wanted to say, today I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm very happy about that. I should say 1,003 now. Let's see. Oh, 1,002. I mean, maybe it didn't update. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, thank you guys. Seriously. I mean, that is like, you know, it's not a big deal, obviously, because, you know, people have millions of subscribers now. Um... You know, uh, back in the day, that was kind of unheard of. Like, I think uh, when somebody hit a million, I think it was Fred. You remember Fred? I think he was the first one to hit a million subscribers. Um, it was a big deal. But now, like, tons of people have a million subscribers. But anyways, um, I don't know, man. For me, it, that's a big deal. I mean, I've, I've been trying to do this YouTube thing um, for a long time now. Uh, last November, I started doing videos, you know, on a weekly basis, you know, almost daily. Um, you know, it's just, it's just awesome, you know. And it's hard to get subscribers and stuff, but, I mean, thank you guys, seriously. If you if you just subscribe for my giveaways or whatever, just to watch my unboxings, that's fine. You know, it's it's cool. Like, I appreciate you guys, you know, that check out my other stuff, too. Like, my stop motion series uh, and other stuff, my collection videos. And, yeah, just, you know, I, I really appreciate it, guys. Like, seriously, thank you so much. A thousand, I mean, that's a big deal to me. You know, hard work does pay off, I'll tell you that. I spend, you know several times a day working on my Instagram page that I made for this YouTube channel to help promote it too. That helps me get subscribers and doing giveaways, you know, free digital copies. I do that anytime I get a, a new movie now. Um, I used to do a bunch, but I got in trouble for that. <laughs> um, yeah, just, you know, thank you guys. Seriously, I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do like a thousand subscriber special video or something. I kind of have, don't have any ideas for that, but I'll think of something. So I might do a video you know, for that, for a thousand subscribers. Uh, so anyways, uh, back to the video here. Um, so I'm going to rank the X-Men films here. Um, I have this collection here, X-Men and the Wolverine collection. The reason why it says that is because, uh, this came out when, uh, The Wolverine, you know, the movie The Wolverine, the sixth movie, uh, came out. So they titled this X-Men and The Wolverine because it was new at the time. Um, so this has the first six movies on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, when I go to the next movie on the list, I'll just show you the disc, because like I said, I don't have all the cases for all six of these movies, but I do have the other cases here for the other movies that aren't in the set. So, um, yeah, so starting off, um, I'm sure you guys know that this series has two bad movies, and I'm, I'm sure you know which two those are. X-Men The Last Stand and X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now, for me, it was hard trying to decide which one is worse. <laughs> um, I actually thought about it for a while. Um, actually, took longer to think about which of those movies is worse than thinking of my whole list. Uh, I actually came to the conclusion that X Men: The Last Stand is the worst movie in the series, um, and I'll explain why I didn't pick uh, X Men: Origins Wolverine when I get to that, which is next. <laughs> um, but besides these two movies right here, the whole series is great in my opinion. Even Apocalypse, which got you know mixed, uh, pretty much bad reviews to be honest. And the Wolverine, which is either a love it or hate it movie, from what I can tell. Um, I actually do love that movie. Um, but these two are the only bad movies. The rest are, are great in my opinion. Um, but anyways, so X Men: The Last Stand. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> so um, what I think happened with this, and same kind of applies to Origins Wolverine. Um, at the time they made this, they just did way too much. They did. They thought, okay, we're gonna cap off this year. We're gonna have a, tr the, you know, the third movie. We're gonna make it big, kind of like what they did with Spider-Man Three. Sometimes the third movie in the series is bad. Um, well, not bad. It could be just the worst of the three. Um, and this is the case right here when you come to the first three movies. Um, this movie. Okay, well, if you haven't seen it, uh, spoiler alert. There's gonna be spoilers for, you know, a lot of these movies here. Uh, they killed off Cyclops. You know, for no reason. He doesn't do anything in the movie except die. <laughs> um, Jean Grey. You know, Phoenix, which that was just a failure, epic failure. I, I'm glad they are gonna redo that. I hope the Dark Phoenix, Dark Phoenix stuff with uh, you know Sophie Turner, um, who's the now the younger Jean Grey, um, as we saw in Apocalypse, uh, she brought out the Phoenix. Um, so they killed her off. They killed off Cyclops. Um, they killed off Professor X. 
they just did all this stuff because like, oh, it's a third movie. We got to go big. We got to kill off all these big characters. And I mean, honestly, it did not work. They ended up bringing them all back, and as you saw in Days of Future Past, because um, they knew this movie was bad. I mean. Uh, Brett Ratner directed this, and no offense to him, <laughs> Brian Singer did the first two movies, which, you know, the first two X-Men are loved by everybody, especially X-Men 2. Um, Brian Singer did produce this, I think, though. But, you know, he didn't come back because he was busy directing uh, Superman Returns, which I never saw, but I heard was bad. But that has nothing to do with this. I mean, it's just... <sighs> I will say, though, this movie, you know, I love Magneto as the villain in this one. You know, he was the villain in the first movie, of course, and I would say Stryker was more the villain in the second movie because, uh, you know, Magneto had to work with them uh, to take him down. But uh, Magneto was good as a villain in this movie. It's just, like I said, they did way too much in this. They killed too many big characters. They're, they're stupid comedy like the Juggernaut. I'm the Juggernaut! It's just, oh my god, it's just bad. I don't know, man. Um, I will say the movie is kind of rewatchable. But I kind of put Origins above it, mainly because I've seen this many times. I've seen it way more times than I should, probably. Uh, and I actually somewhat kind of enjoy Origins. I know you could, you know, shoot me for that. But uh, I can actually can kind of, I can kind of find some enjoyment in this movie. I can find some enjoyment in this movie, too. But it's not, it's barely there. Um, I do like the fact that the storyline they went with was they found a cure for the mutants and stuff. You can get rid of your mutant powers. But they didn't really, like, focus on that enough, I guess. I mean, no, they actually did, but, you know, I wish it would have had a bigger role in the movie. Like, they would have made it more, like, a serious thing. But, I don't know, man. You got Angel in there, too. It was kind of just there. and I don't know. But I do love Kelsey Grammer's Beast. He was good. Um, I don't know, man. They just, they really messed up with this movie. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh, and fun fact, by the way, uh, for those of you wondering how, uh, when Professor X died in this movie, how does he come back and they don't explain it or not, there's an after credit scene in this movie that I think a lot of people have never seen. I actually did not see it until, like, maybe two years ago or something, and this movie came out in, what, 2007, 2006? 2006, right? Yeah, it's ten years ago. Wow, this movie came out ten years ago. Jeez. <laughs> um, there's an after credit scene, which I did not see, you know, like I said, until about two years ago, that, uh, they show Professor X in the hospital... Or it's actually not him. It's supposed to be like his twin brother or something stupid like that. And Professor X put his soul into his dead twin brother's body. And Moira Metagrid is in the hospital with him. I guess she's like a doctor. And she sees him. And he's like, his heartbeat comes back on. And I think he says something. And she's like, Charles? Uh, so yeah, that's how he does it. I know it's a dumb reason. But they actually do show you how he, you know, came back. Um, so I guess you could say technically they didn't kill him off in this movie. But still, they... Ugh, it's just bad. This movie's just bad. Uh, so, yeah, X-Men The Last Stand, bottom of the list, so, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm saying sorry because a lot of people want this at the bottom. Um, yes, this movie is bad, but the thing with this movie, when, um, it came out in 2009, um, I thought it was awesome, you know, because I was younger, I was, uh, 13 years old, um, no, 14, 2009, 13 or 14, um, but, uh, yeah, this movie, you know, it had a lot in it. It had Gambit, it had the bad Deadpool, which, you know, I didn't make a big deal of at the time. But now that I know what Deadpool's supposed to be like, and we have the great Deadpool movie, which is very high on my list here, um, I, yes, that was very bad. And uh, also, the love interest, uh, Kayla Silverfox is her name, I think. Her acting was very bad. Um, trust, just watch the movie again. Every scene she's in, her acting's pretty bad. Um, yeah. She is a bad actor, um... Well, I don't know if she's a bad actor. In this movie, she's a bad actress. Um, I will say, though, I do love... Wolverine is my favorite character in the series. And I, the, uh, the, one of the main reasons I picked this over Last Stand is because it's his movie. He does Hugh Jackman's great in the movie. And I love the dynamic between him and Sabretooth in this movie. It's fantastic. I hope Sabretooth is in Logan. By the way, I did watch the Logan trailer. Oh my god, that was amazing. I cannot wait to see that movie. That is like my most hyped movie right now. Um, I want to see that more than... Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, or, you know, Doctor Strange, whatever. I, I want to see that. <laughs> it looks so freaking good. Um, March 3rd, uh, can't come any sooner. Anyways, um, by the way, I would have did a reaction video for that, but I was at work when the trailer dropped on uh, Thursday. I just had to watch it, and I couldn't, you know, record. My, I was watching it on my phone at work. I couldn't record and watch it at the same time, so sorry about that. I would have did a reaction video, but I just had to watch it. I was like, oh, the Logan trailer came out. Wait, let me watch this. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, um, the dynamic with him and Sabretooth is very good in this movie. 
Hugh Jackman's very good in the movie. You know, Liev Schreiber is good as Sabretooth, and that's about it. I mean, <laughs> the rest of the movie, I actually don't mind Gambit in the movie. And a lot of people are like, oh, no, he was bad as Gambit. I, I don't know. He was cool. I mean, he was kind of there, but just there. But, uh, you know, you had Will I Am in there, too, and you had the Blob thing, which was silly. Him boxing the Blob uh, in a boxing match with him. But And then, of course, the terrible Deadpool at the end of this. But Ryan Reynolds was kind of funny, I guess, in the movie before he got turned into Deadpool. Or, not Deadpool, Weapon 11. Uh, I'm not going to call that thing Deadpool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean... Slight, I've seen this movie many times, and I will say it is rewatchable. If someone said, hey, let's watch X-Men Origins Wolverine, I'll, I, I would say, okay, whatever. It's bad, but we can like laugh at it, how stupid it is. X-Men The Last Stand, I'll just say, eh, I don't think I'm going to watch that right now. <laughs> so, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I will put Origins Wolverine above Last Stand. So, those are my bottom two. Now, we're going to move on to the good movies. Alright, so next on the list is the Wolverine. Now, I know, like I said, two terrible movies, but I'm not saying this is bad. It's just, you know, it's the next. Now we're merging into the good stuff. <laughs> Even though this is the bottom of the good stuff, this is still a very good movie. The only reason I put it at the bottom is because I honestly think I've seen this movie two or three times from beginning to end. I wouldn't say it's very rewatchable or very, you know, it comes to mind when, when I say, oh, I need to go watch a movie. This does not come to mind usually. Um... The thing with this movie, it's either love it or hate it. It seems like like I hear people say, oh, I loved it. It was great. They you did serious take them over and they did a good solo over movie. He went to Japan, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, and then there's also the people that hate it. Oh, my God. Silver Samurai was stupid. And oh, my God. The movie's boring, blah, blah, blah. I don't think the movie's boring. I think it's a very serious drama. And I like the fact that Wolverine, it's a very personal movie with him. Um, you see, he sees flashes of Jean Grey, of course, that he, uh, who, of course, he killed at the end of uh, Last Stand. Um, and he goes to Japan, blah, 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 and all this stuff with uh, Yoshida. And also, he wants to, you know, lose his immortality. It's just a very, I don't know, I thought it was a very well put together movie. It's it's kind of long, and, it, you know, people say it's boring, but I don't think it's boring. As long as you have patience and you like stuff like this, I like stuff like this. They did a very good job with this. Um, and James Mangle, who directed this, will direct Logan. Um, so it'll have the same vibe, I hope, and it looks like it's going to be kind of like a Western in terms of uh, tone and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think Logan will be fantastic. Wolves we have yet to see. But I think this was very good. I think this movie's underrated. Um, yeah, I actually think I'm going to rewatch this uh, after I do this video, to be honest. So yeah, The Wolverine, it, you know, at the bottom of the good movies, but it's a very solid movie, in my opinion. Um, if I've seen it more times, maybe maybe I would put it higher. I don't know yet, but I've seen this the least out of the whole series. I've actually watched this less than The Last Stand, I think. Um, so, yeah, I, this movie deserves another rewatch for sure. So, The Wolverine, underrated, good movie. Uh, yeah, good solo movie for Wolverine. All right, so next, um, I'm going to close this for a minute, and we're going to go on to X-Men Apocalypse. Now, this movie got very negative reviews. Um, I just could not re figure out why. I thought this movie was fun. You know, the cat had a very big cast, and the characters were great. Quicksilver's in there. All the young actors, uh, you know, you got the young Storm, young Nightcrawler, who was hilarious. Um, Angel, who was kind of whatever. Psylocke was kind of whatever. Magneto, fantastic. The stuff with Magneto in this movie, very, very good. I love Michael Fassbender as Magneto. One of the best casting choices ever, in my opinion. Um, you know, Charles Xavier's in it, too, uh, with the stuff with Moira McTaggart. Um, Ap Apocalypse was a pretty good villain, I guess. He could have did more in terms of like you know being a, a big bad guy, um, but he did not. He did not seem too threatening, I guess. That you know he was kind of short too. I know a lot of people complained about that, but uh, I don't know. I just love all the fight scenes in this. The Quicksilver scene's funny. Um, the Wolverine cameo was awesome. Um, I don't know, man. And it, just, and it felt like an X Men movie. It felt like a team effort movie. Like they were a team. You know, they fought together at the end. They took, they all, uh, spoilers, they all, you know, as a team, took down Apocalypse. Uh, mainly Jean Grey. Um, also, Jean Grey and Cyclops, you know, good young actors, again, playing them. Um, just a very good movie. I, I mean, you know, it, it had that, you know, Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. Uh, it felt like a very, you know, high, kind of like a high school movie, if that makes any sense, you know, in the 80s. Uh, they captured that very well. Um... I don't know, it's just a very, you know, good return to form for the team, you know, the team fighting together. Because we didn't see that in all the movies, to be honest. Like, the Wolverine movies, you know, there was no X-Men team. X-Men 1 and 2, yeah, they were a team. 
X-Men The Last Stand, they were kind of a team at the end, but there weren't many of them. This movie had a whole ton of them together, you know. Uh, Days of Future Past, they were not a team, really. Uh, Wolverine and, uh, and Beast and uh, Xavier were pretty much trying to stop everything. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, an X-Men First Class, they were a team, of course. But, uh, yeah, this was a very, very good movie, in my opinion. Um, the, you know, the least in terms of the prequel movies, you know, First Class and Days of Future Past with a young cast. Um, but still, this was very good, in my opinion. Um, and I love... I love Brian Singer. I mean, a lot of people don't like Brian Singer directing these movies, but I think he does a good job. Uh, so yeah, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't have this series. I mean, I mean, we would have got X-Men eventually, but you know, he's this person that started this particular set of movies here. So yeah, just, you know, very good in my opinion. So X-Men Apocalypse. All right, next up I have X-Men First Class. Now a lot of people are like, whoa, 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 you should have this way higher in the list. This should be number one. Um, I actually am not a huge fan of X-Men First Class. I've actually seen this movie probably least times, you know, except for The Wolverine. I've seen this the least times. But this is like second place for least amount of times I've rewatched it. Um, First Class is a good movie. Don't get me wrong. It's just I don't, like, find myself rewatching it as much. I don't know. I mean, it was great. It was great, though. They casted very good people. Like I said, Michael Fassbender, fantastic. Kevin Bacon as a villain. You know, it's Kevin Bacon, but <laughs> I thought he did a good job. Um... And Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique, of course, and then, of course, you got Nicholas Holt as Beast. Uh, I don't know, and I thought it was a good movie to, you know, the first time you saw the X-Men. I thought this was a great introduction to how everything started. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, I just don't find myself rewatching this one as much. But it was very good, though. This did pretty much revive the series. You know, I think it was intended to be a reboot, but, you know, when Days of Future Past came out, they pretty much just merged the original trilogy and this movie. Um... And also, I forget I forgot to mention, this has the best cameo of all time, <laughs> with Wolverine sitting in the bar. Uh, man, if you remember that scene, he says something that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, X-Men First Class. Um, it's a very solid movie. Matthew Vaughn, he's a great director. Uh, he directed this. Brian Singer produced it. Um, just very good. It brought the series back to life, man. So you gotta give it that. And, and had a very good cast. James McAvoy, of course, as Charles Xavier. Very good. And all the other young cast members. Uh, just a very good movie, man. It's just, you know, I don't rewatch it as much, though. I, I prefer the other movies above this. The, the ones I haven't mentioned yet. Those are the ones I prefer above, uh, above this. I just That's just how, you know, how I feel with it. But still, a very solid movie, like I said. So, yeah, that is X-Men First Class. Alright, now I'm going to move on to my number four. Yeah, this would be my number four spot. Um, the first X-Men movie. Which I think is actually underrated. Uh, people kind of overlook the first X-Men and they go to, you know, they'll say it's good and they'll say, oh yeah, X2, that's where it's at. Well, it's kind of true. X2 is better. Uh, excuse me. A little bit of indigestion. Uh, ate some food earlier. Um, the first X-Men, uh, actually, I think this was the first Marvel movie, was it not? Um, correct me if I'm wrong. This was the first Marvel movie. I'm not talking about Howard the Duck. That is dumb. <laughs> Howard the Duck, that is, uh, oh God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and not the old Captain America movie. Like, I'm talking, you know, like, official, official of Marvel. Like, I know they did a Fantastic Four movie back in the day that never got released, I think. And then they had that old Captain America movie that came out in the 90s, which sucked. Uh, I think this was the first Marvel movie. Correct me if I'm wrong, you know, if, besides those ones I mentioned. Uh, that's also still in continuity, you know, if you think about it. Um, anyways, yeah, the first X-Men, I mean, this movie's, you know, this movie's kind of fun. Like, I love the stuff with the Statue of Liberty scene, when they're all in there fighting. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, Wolverine gives, uh, Cyclops the finger. Hilarious. I mean, you know, the cast was good. This is the first time you ever had a team of superheroes on, on a movie, at least, too. You know? Um, I know that for sure. Um, uh, yeah. So, you know, Brian Singer directed it, of course, and I thought it was a very good start to the series, you know. Uh, I keep seeing you know, I'm sorry, I repeat myself a lot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just a solid movie, you know. Um, yeah, not much else to say, but I think it's slightly underrated, because no one really ever talks about the first movie that much. They're always talking about First Class, or or these two uh, abominations right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, first movie, pretty good. So next up, I'm going to X2, X-Men United. Um, very, very good sequel. Um, the cast, you know, 
the second time around, they got their stuff down, like I said. Usually in a trilogy, the third is the worst. And then people debate, oh, first or second's better. In this case, the second's better. Um, just a very good movie. Uh, you know, the fact that Magneto had to team up with them and stuff to take out Stryker. And you get some Wolverine flashbacks, too, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, it's just, just good, man. Um, oh, Nightcrawler. How can I mention uh, Nightcrawler? Nightcrawler was fantastic in this. The opening scene inside of the White House was fantastic. Um, yeah, man, X2 X-Men United. Just very solid movie. A lot of people put this at the top, and I agree with them, man. This is a very good movie. You got Lady Deathstrike in there, too. Um, good fight scene with Wolverine. Um, yeah, just a very good movie, man. Um... <laughs> I know, I, I kind of just do this offhand, like I don't have a, anything written down, I just think of stuff in my head. I can't think of anything else to say, but yeah, this the first two X-Men movies, fantastic, so I put X2 above this one. So I think I went through all these, yes I did, so now we're going on to the very last uh, two movies here. Um, you see three cases though, I'll get to that in a minute. Now you can see what this one is, uh, Deadpool, and yes, Deadpool is part of the series. Um, it's in the same continuity, I guess. You don't see it much in this movie, but it is. Um, so yeah, Deadpool is my number two pick. Uh, just a very good introduction movie. Hilarious. They did Deadpool right. This movie was fantastic. It was very violent. It was very funny. Ryan Reynolds, perfect. Um, honestly, my only complaint about this movie is that I wanted more. <laughs> like, every time I watch this movie, it's just, it's very, it's kind of short. Uh, I'm not sure what the runtime is, but it feels short, because, you know, it, it is an introduction movie. I'm sure the sequel will be even better, because you don't have to go through the whole backstory and all that stuff. Sorry about that, my camera cut off. <laughs> I've got a full memory card, I had to switch cards. Uh, as I was saying, uh, yeah, with the, the sequel for this should be better, because you don't have to go through the backstory and all that stuff. But uh, still, this movie was very entertaining, very fun, good characters. You know, you got uh, the best Colossus we've seen so far, by the way. Colossus was in the other movies, but he didn't do much or say much. This Colossus was hilarious, uh, and you had Nick and Sonic, Teenage Warhead in there too. And who could forget Francis, <laughs> uh, Ajax. Uh, yeah, this movie was great, man. I mean, hilarious. Uh, just had a great time in the theater seeing it. Um, so yeah, man, I just wanted more. That's my only complaint. I wanted more of this movie. I did not want it to end. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, Deadpool, number two, man. It was just a very, very good, very good introduction to Deadpool. A very good Deadpool movie that we, we finally got a good Deadpool movie. So yeah, you gotta thank the movie for that. All right. Next, number one is, you guessed it, X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, I have two things here. Uh, this is the Rogue Cut, which was the extended version. Um, I brought this out because I would highly recommend this. Uh, if you love, if, you, if you'd if you seen this movie, uh, I would highly recommend you see this also. This is very good. It has additional footage and stuff. You get more of Rogue in the movie. She's literally only in one scene in the theatrical cut, I think, and she doesn't say anything. But this movie had Rogue in it for a, this version of the movie, I should say, had a lot of Rogue and, a, you know, a kind of a side story thing. This goes on for two and a half hours, I think, as opposed to two hours and a few minutes uh, on the theatrical. So, yeah, if you want more, there's also other scenes, too. Like, there's more, there's a scene with Mystique and uh, Beast that, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> is kind of uh, rated R. Uh, and this movie is, yeah, the... Row cut is unrated, so yeah, you get some extra stuff in there. Uh, so yeah, there's other additional footage in this movie besides Rogue, but uh, yeah, I would highly recommend you guys get this. Uh, just really good. I, I actually, I kind of do prefer the theatrical though, just because it run, you know, the pacing slightly better with the smaller runtime. But uh, I would recommend that anyway. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, Days of Future Past. What can I say, man? This movie is a masterpiece. I mean. <laughs> Uh, when I saw this in theaters, man, I was blown away. Like, I was so into it at the end when Mystique was, you know, decided not, whether or not to shoot the president. Uh, or not the president. Uh, she was going to shoot Trask. Uh, man, this movie... Uh, they they did tra time travel so good in this movie. Um, I love the concept that they used, how his, his consciousness went back into his younger body. And then that way, Xavier would read his consciousness and then see what's going on in the future and then talk to old Xavier. Also, Mystique was, a you know, kind of an anti-hero in the movie. And then Magneto was awesome. He was destroying stuff. Uh, they had to break him out of the prison with Quicksilver. Quicksilver was awesome. The Quicksilver scene was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing... I honestly can't think of anything bad about this movie. Like, seriously, this movie is, in my opinion, like, a superhero masterpiece. This might be my favorite superhero movie ever. Um, Captain America Civil War was at the top of my MCU list. Kind of a spoiler there, if you haven't watched that video, but whatever. Uh, 
I don't know, man. I might like this one better. <laughs> I mean, this movie was so good, man. Uh, just great. The seven, they captured the seventies very well. The, you know, they captured a po post-apocalyptic future very well too. Um, and then there's a ton of cast. There's a ton of characters in this movie too. And not to mention at the end where they, the way they, uh, they showed a uh, Jean Grey and Cyclops. That was cool. Um, everybody in the theater was like, yo, like everybody went crazy when they showed, uh, you know, that's that shot where you first see Jean Grey, uh, you see the red hair, everybody in the theater was like, yo, <laughs> I remember it, man. It was two years ago, but I still remember that in the theater. Uh, I don't know, man. And then Brian Singer came back, you know, to direct since X-Men 2. He did produce First Class, like I said. I think he might've produced The Last Stand. I'm not sure. Uh, but this was the first time he came back to direct and did a fantastic job like i said i people hate on brian singer but i don't hear people hate on this movie so what the heck uh <laughs> and also this movie merged very successfully merged the new cast and the old cast and did a very good job of that um so uh, honestly i think more so than first class this movie saved the series because if you think about it first class should have been was probably going to be a reboot they're probably going to start everything over um, aside from, you know, obviously Wolverine was in the movie for like five seconds, the same actor, I mean, Hugh Jackman, but this movie said, you know, we're not restarting, we're going to bring everything together, tie it all together, even though the Wolverine was before this, and that followed the old series, anyways, uh, <laughs> but still, I think this movie is what, like, this is the reason why we're still getting movies in the same continuity, is because of this movie right here, um, and then this movie got, you know, critical acclaim, made a ton of money, just... I love this movie, man. <laughs> and I love this metal pack, too, by the way. Ah, so beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. Just, if you have not seen this movie, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I would recommend you watch the other ones before it. Um, you might have to sit through some crap, like I mentioned. Uh, Last Stand and Origins. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> but this is just a masterpiece, man. This is just... I love this movie. I'm actually watching it right now on my TV. I have it paused. Uh... Because I was like, oh, I'm going to do the X-Men list. You know what? I'm in the mood to watch this. <laughs> and this movie, too, it is very rewatchable, man. I, anytime I want to, I think about, maybe I should watch Days of Future Past. I don't change my mind. I said, you know what? I'll watch it. Um, yeah, man, this movie's awesome. Look at that shine. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, man. Do you think I'm uh, overhyped about this movie or what? Uh, let me know. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think of my ranking. Do you think I'm crazy? Uh, putting Last Stand at the very bottom. Maybe some people like it. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys rank the stuff, rank these movies. Um, let me know. Let me know if you think I'm crazy that I like these movies more than the MCU. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Just, just you know, comment whatever. Comment something. Comment. Let me know. Let me know what your list is. I want to see your guys' list. Make a video about the list. I don't know. Make a video like I'm doing with your list. Uh, I don't know, man. Just, yeah. I love this movie. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, that was my list. Let me know what you think, like I said. Uh, and thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. You know, it's 1,003 now, I think. Or 4, who knows. Let me go check my phone. Uh, I love y'all. Wait, let me do a heart. Uh, that's a heart, right? Okay. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. I love y'all. Have a good one.